Hello Formula One and IndyCar fans, welcome to Formula Pun Racer. Today is May 5th, Cinco de Mayo, which means when it comes to the Indianapolis 500, it is just 23 days from now before the 107th running of the greatest spectacle in racing begins. And boy oh boy, I am so excited to take off to Indianapolis, Indiana for this grand event. I hope all of you viewers and those subscribed are willing to go to the Indy 500 too. And who knows if we might see each other in the hours before the race starts at the greatest spectacle in racing at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. But now, naturally, I'm here right now to give you my review on the previous action in racing from April 30th. And considering I did say in my last video I might need a haircut, well, we can say that for the IndyCar round in Birmingham, Alabama at Barber Motorsport Park, there was a lot of slicing and dicing for position, but either way you slice it, only one driver out of 27 made the cut to take top honors. So um, let us begin with the IndyCar round at Barber Motorsport Park. Here at Barber Motorsports Park, the green flies and Grosjean leads this star-studded field of green. Great start from Romain Grosjean, side by side behind him as Padua Ward tries to go on the outside of Alex Palou, and I think he's going to pull that off. Wow, <laughs> I knew uh, Barber Park would be fast for the Indy cars and cuttingly sharp too, but um, looks like Barber cut my hair too somehow. <laughs> And I think I might make this review shorter than normal because, well, I'll tell you why in a moment. So, I shall say that when the green flag flew, it was Romain Grosjean on pole driving for Andretti Autosport. Alex Palou of Spain with Chip Ganassi started second. Patricio Ward of Mexico at Arrow McLaren started third. Mick Lachlan fourth and Dixon fifth. So that tells us one thing about those two Kiwis in fourth and fifth. This race would be anything but scot-free. <laughs> Romain Grosjean and Scott McLaughlin led the majority of the race in this 90-lap race. McLaughlin's teammates, Joseph Newgarden, led six, and Will Power was the only other lap leader, leading only three. The only yellow flag period occurred when Stingray Rob's car gave out on lap 38. So unfortunately for his team owner, Dale, when he flipped his coin, he was trying to get ahead of the game. Unfortunately, he ended up tails. Some people might say that this caution period might have been vital for Team Penske in getting one or more of their drivers ahead of the game later on in this race, and that would be the case. And to think the other drivers of this race, the other 26 entries, all finished the race on the lead lap. All 90 laps, even last place finisher Agustin Canapino of Argentina. And I got more to say about him later on, but I will say one thing. With the pit strategies working out for Team Penske, Scott McLaughlin eventually came out on top ahead of Romain Grosjean to take his first IndyCar win of the season. Congratulations, Scott McLaughlin, on your first IndyCar win. And I say, this put Grosjean second, Will Power finished third. So, Grosjean, the Andretti Autosport entry, the meat in a Penske sandwich. Marcus? Marcus Armstrong, he finished 11th. His Swedish teammate, Marcus Ericsson, finished 10th. And how about that? Because... After four races, Marcus Ericsson still holds the IndyCar Championship lead, three points ahead of Patricio Ward, who finished fourth in the race, and O. Ward is six points ahead of Alex Pelot, who finished fifth in the race. So the top three drivers are separated by nine points, so it's pretty close. And with the following week being the Indy Road Course race, things are about to heat up big time as we approach the 107th running of the Indianapolis 500. On top of that, tomorrow is Patricia Ward's birthday, so I'd like to say in advance, happy birthday, Pato Ward, Feliz Cumpleaños, I hope you have a great birthday tomorrow, and I wish you good luck in the Indy 500. And to get back to Augustine Canapino, he'll be sporting a very interesting entry on his car in the 107th Indianapolis 500, shown here. As you see here in these pics, instead of the average black, white, and green paint job, Canapino's car will be donning the flag colors of his country, Argentina, not only to promote tourism, but to also capitalize on the fact that last year, the Argentinian soccer team won the World Cup championship for the third time. So congratulations, Argentina, on making that happen, and for Canapino to hopefully become the first Argentine to qualify for the Indianapolis 500. No doubt about it. Carlos Reutemann and Juan Manuel Fangio in heaven will cheer you on about this, Augustine. 
And I hope that if you win the Indian 500, you'll get your kicks big time for this. So with that said, I wish you luck, Augustine. Buena suerte, Senor Canapino. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha, wee oui, wee, oui, Monsieur Grosjean. Tough luck that, once again, just another bridesmaid, but never a bride. So close to your first win. Still, I'm glad to see you took it well, finishing second, and the fact that your good bygones with Scott McLaughlin can't hurt either. But still, I am pretty sure, Romain, if you are watching this video, I am sure your first IndyCar win is real soon. I may not know when, and neither do you or anyone else, but I know you will win some race this year. At one, at the very least. Naturally, if it's the Indy 500, I'll be super happy that you do. But in any case, if you're wondering, which is the next race for the Indy cars? It is at the IMS Road Course in Indianapolis on May 13th. You can catch on NBC or Peacock, so get your DVRs tuned in for that one. <laughs> Once again, this concludes part one of this two-parter, which the second part will talk of the Azerbaijan Grand Prix, which occurred the same day as Barber Motorsports. And once again, with it still being Cinco de Mayo, I shall say, enjoy the fiesta, everyone. Happy advanced birthday, Patricia Ward, and congratulations, Scott McLaughlin. I shall leave you now with the final results of the Indy car race at Barber Motorsport Park. And of course... Thanks for watching, everyone. Please subscribe and click the notification bell to be notified of future videos, as well as when I will play and post my next video, which is later today. And enjoy the fiesta throughout the world where we get some tacos, and there'll be some more Mexican excitement to talk about in my next round, indeed, or should I say, taco belt. But for the meanwhile, enjoy the day, and be sure to tune in later for my next video on my review of Azerbaijan. I'm Aaron Cylinder, firing on all cylinders.